What's up guys, this is Unholy Asylum bringing you another Call of Duty ghost sniping commentary. I start off this one with the L11 with a thermal, and then I switch over to the USR because it seems like to me the L11 on this game just completely sucks. I don't know if it's me or what it is, but every time I try to use it, I just get decimated by the other team. Only way I can use it if is if I'm camping in one spot and they're just you know coming in the wide open and I'm picking them off. But if you're trying to quick scope, I really don't recommend the L11 to try to quick scope with because I mean it may just be me and my shot because I mean I'm not really the best with the L11. You see, I fucking get. <laughs> that pissed me off so bad when that guy drop shot at me. But, uh, but it's funny too because after that I go on a little, I go on a pretty good tear to this whole game. Where instead, instead of playing cranked like I normally do because it seems to me more now when I get cranked with a sniper and I get, you know, you get stalker and all those other perks or whatever, but... The stalker throws my shot off so much that it's it's ridiculous how much it throws my shot off. I mean, if you were in a party with me and watched me snipe, or if you were at my house or watched through my TV me sniping and cranked, when I get cranked and get stalker and all that, it like just ruins my shot. Whenever I try to quick scope, I'll. I'll either drag the crosshairs too far across, or I'll just completely miss my shot because of the stalker. But, anyways, I actually, if you can't tell by the later on in the video, but I had my shot was actually really, really good today. I don't know if it's just that I was in, I just had one of those days where I was in the zone and I was just going crazy with the USR or what it was. You see when they have I think C flag is back there but when they have C flag I kind of stay around this area between I guess you could yeah the little crossing between C and A and then when they get B I'll switch over to the steps. If you're sniping if you're wanting to snipe in strike zone and you keep getting hassled because you can't get a lot of kills or whatever just try out those two little spots. I mean, this spot really ain't exactly the best because it's very easy to get picked off right there. But this spot over here in the middle of the little cross part is actually a really good spot because you can you can crouch behind that stuff. You can lay, go prone behind it for cover and you can lean beside of some of it. You get those shots and you can pick off some of the strays trying to cross over to A and uh, you can ca catch some of the people off guard trying to go to A. And I actually, I actually, I think I got, yeah, I got three videos today of me sniping in three different games, which they're all domination, which I thought, real quick, I thought that was the most BS kill that a sniper bullet cannot go through that wooden pallet, but his bullets can. And, I mean, that's... Stuff like that is just... I mean, it's just ridiculous. But... Anyways, I have... I got three videos today. Just in a few hours... A couple hours of playing. And... Which this video really isn't even the best, in my opinion. There's one video on, I forget what the map's called, what is it called? It's the one where B is up on the little crosswalk in the building in the middle. I can't remember what it's called, but that one in my opinion is the best one because I hit a lot of nice quick scopes in that video. I do hit a lot of nice ones in this video too, especially when I'm up above the steps and there's two people trying to secure A. And I just destroy both of them. But it should be coming up here in a little bit. But most of the videos we have dominated like cr crazy in domination. But I think one of them we only end up winning by a few points. Maybe I think like three or four points. 
But yeah, right here is the cliff I was talking about. Let's see, I get that guy. Get that guy. Actually, no, there's two clips. Never mind, that's my fault. I think actually that happens a second time because I don't think that's the one I'm talking about. But, anyways, a quick little thing. I, th I don't know if it's just me or what it is, but I think I might be getting sick in a way. So, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it doesn't do nothing with my voice or anything. That way I can at least still do a commentary a commentary or two a day or whatever but and I'm doing this one pretty late because it's so much two o'clock and I have to get up seven o'clock in the morning to go to work because my job I'm not gonna say much about it but they don't they don't really know the, the people the managers don't really understand how to make a schedule it seems like that's why, I mean, if they hear it, they hear it. I really don't care. I don't see, you know, people have weird ways of finding out stuff. And, you know, you have big mouth co-workers that watch the videos or something. They'll be like, oh, he said something about where he were, about where we work at. And then they'll go tell them. Or, you know, just some BS like that. But I have to go, I have to, let's see, was it 8 to 4 tomorrow? So the, com the one I upload tomorrow... This video will be uploaded later that day, to, and the net I might be able to upload two commentaries. I don't really know for sure. It just depends on how I feel after I get off work and everything. But I'm wanting to do kind of a live stream, but I don't know what day. I, I'm gonna have to find a day that I'm gonna have off to be able to do it. I don't know. <laughs> it all depends on what days and stuff, and I don't know who which. If it would be better to do one on the weekend, more people so more people could watch it or do one during the week. But I want to do one with through my. Let's see. I don't know. If, I want to do one through YouTube. I think I've. I think it's there's a way you can do it through YouTube. I can't remember right now. But I don't really want to do one through Twitch because I don't really have all my stuff have all all that stuff set up for twitch i mainly have everything set up you know for youtube and all my videos and stuff is on youtube but i mean if i was gonna stream if i was gonna stream content through twitch it would be more of just me playing with friends not just me sniping so i want us to be able to, i want you guys to see like the games that my, I mean, yeah, uh, wow, I can't even talk again, but the games, like one video, I could, or the first match, my shot could be good, and then the next video could be bad, I, I don't want people to think that I'm just uploading videos, which I mean, most of my videos are the better ones of my videos, when my shot's been better and all this, but I don't want people to say, oh, well, you're just uploading videos of when you're doing good you don't upload bad gameplays and all this but which also brings me to the point i was thinking about doing a series for my i think maybe the next prestige when i prestige next or i might just start either that or start on another account or something and do since i'm already almost since i already almost have the USR gold and the L11 is not far behind from where I've got the USR but I want to do kind of a like road to gold sniper series or something but I don't know for sure if I'll do that if you guys have any better ideas for series or whatever or right, well any kind of series it can be with snipers it can be with just regular guns it doesn't matter I mean, if you want me to use, or if you guys want to do a series where you tell me guns to use and, or class setups to use, I'll do that. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.